nice to see you. My bad. I'm playing train game at OSRS right now, so I don't have a monitor to actively lurk on. That's cool. What are you doing in OSRS before you before you get back to us? Also, chat. I uh, I wanted to kind of focus a little bit of my attention on something else for a little while. I wanted to give my hand at or try my hand at reviewing games. I feel like I. I was thinking about ways that I could use my degree for something, and I was thinking back to what all my college experience was. And realistically, all I did was read a book and write, like, an essay on it every week. That was kind of my whole college, so I don't see why I can't do that with video games. I feel like I should just, uh, I want to play through this and make, like, a, a, a video essay review and put it on YouTube. I think you'd be amazing at it. Listening to you talk about games is so cool, Debbie. No, you ace. So for those of you who don't know, this is uh, Bloodborne if it were Pinocchio. <laughs> okay, when I did the demo, I did Path of the Bastard. I think this time I'm just gonna do Balance. Uh, we have uh, Bloodborne, Twink Pinocchio Bloodborne. Okay, when I played the demo, I didn't understand guarding properly. I thought it was bad. If you block, you don't block all the damage. You take like temporary damage that can be regained when you attack. And of course, we've got our perfect parry. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, I couldn't resist. Sekiro reference. Whomst made this? This is actually a Korean dev team. I don't remember their name off the top of my head. I really should. But uh, I know that this is their first attempt at a Souls-like game. What I can say, having played the demo before, I am already familiar with how the game feels a little bit to a point. And I think that this is probably the best Souls-like game that I've played other than like a From Software game so far. The only game that comes close to it, I, w I can think of off the top of my head anyway, is like Neo. I think Neo was really polished, but this game feels really good. To be fair, I'm heavily biased. I am a Bloodborne simp. Heal is X. There we go. I like that sound effect. And the particle effects. I wish I could play Bloodborne. It's aesthetic. It's one of my faves. I still, to this day, say that somehow I would find a way to drop triple digits for a PC copy of Bloodborne. All right, we got tips on shortcuts. Dark Souls shortcuts. There we go. And now we die to this guy. All right, first death coming up, chat. I'm gonna slide up to him. He won't know what to expect. Read my feet, bro. What's my next move gonna be? I don't remember how to do specials. Wait, yes, I do. Ah, he bumped me. Okay, okay. Oh, okay. I thought the perfect pair would be like an instant thing. Aha, here we go. Okay, so I have staggered him now. Also, perfect parry sound effect, very satisfying. Oh, oh, oh. Wait. Wait. There we go. There we go. Nope. Okay, I miss I should have read that tooltip. I thought I I thought I knew what to do. Fuck. All right, so if you notice on the left now, chat, I'm out of healing. It's the top slot on the left, but it's got that, like, pink bar in the background. So in this game, they have this unique thing where you can actually, like, regenerate your your last dose of your health potion by dealing damage. Hey, I didn't die. Let's go. Ika was right. I fucked him up. I didn't have faith in myself. Ika believed. Yeah, I like that a lot more. I think the biggest issue with Bloodborne was unlike every other game like this, your healing potions don't regenerate. You actually have to go buy them or find them as drops from enemies. So you essentially had to farm health potions and it sucked. But uh, this game completely gets rid of that. I'm happy about that. You're like twice the gamer compared to it? Yeah, that's right. No, I've just done that before. I, I have done this before as a reminder. That this, is, uh, this is the opening to the demo. Okay, so I'll go over the UI. This is how many souls I have. I can spend this on items or get experience. This is health, stamina, and these three blue bars are like mana, which I use on abilities which are in the bottom right. We'll get to that in a bit. I haven't done any of that yet. The top bar here is my Healy items, which I am currently out of, but will refill soon. Right here are like what item I have equipped, and then down here is what my left hand item is, which I don't have one at the moment. It's just kind of a left hand, but you get some like very secular like uh, left arm upgrades of shit. Rain look pretty, doesn't it? I don't have ray tracing on, but this game does support ray tracing and I can do it without uh, streaming, but I don't think I can do it with streaming. Uh, the bar in the bottom right, I didn't explain. There's that gray bar over my weapon. That's actually my weapon's durability. There is a durability thing in this game and the item I have equipped happens to be 
how you sharpen it. Do the heals regen whenever you rest? They regen when you rest at a campfire or bonfire or stargazer. <laughs> and then you can regen one by dealing damage. I don't know if the, clan, the, the rain would make your clothing shiny, but it looks nice either way. It actually does. I'm glad you pointed that out. You can actually like see skin through the shirt, I'm pretty sure. You can see through the clothes because how wet it is. You'll also notice while we're playing earlier, or later, killing enemies will slow, like, cover me in blood and oil and shit, and the rain washes it away faster. Like, this game is just, it's, it's nice. It's nice. Wet t-shirt contest winner right here. I'd vote for him. <laughs> All right, so just in case anyone hasn't played a Souls-like before, this is a pretty common trope. There's, like, these checkpoints. This is, this is the checkpoints, these blue things called the stargazers. You use these to level up. Also, whenever you die, you return to the last one you used. You can kind of teleport between them. And most importantly, if you rest at one, it will fully heal you, give you all of your health potions back, but also respawns every enemy in the area. So it's always like a payoff of, uh, you know, you could go level up, but it's going to reset the whole environment. All right, let's see here. Vitality is health. Vigor is stamina. Capacity. This gives me legion and weight. I guess, capa okay, so I guess it's like uh, my ability to carry things and use he stronger, like heavier things, maybe Boost. heavier equipment. Motivity. This one appears to be purely combat. Weapon attack goes up. Your legion arm attack goes up. All of your defense goes up. Technique looks very much the same. Nothing changes between these two. I'm going to assume some weapons will scale off of motivity or strength, and some weapons will scale off technique. Uh, and then advance. I'm going to guess that's like the arcane stat for this game. This is probably like your, your either luck or like magic or some kind. I think I want to go... The sharpness only affects damage, but doesn't actually destroy your weapon. Okay, that's huge to know. I'm gonna go very uh, hybrid. I'm gonna go like a hybrid strength dexterity build. If that's bad, you know, hopefully we can reset things we'll find out later but for now i'm just kind of feeling like i'm gonna want to swap between the two or play a balance of them so cease unhand me i think i know up to the second boss in this game oh yeah also here's the oil and blood i was talking about earlier on the shirt and you can see it washing away that's cool that's a nice effect i'm glad they made the dogs robots so i don't feel bad for killing them <laughs> This game's demo went on so much longer than I thought it would. I figured it would stop me after the first boss and it just kept going. Same, same. Honestly, the demo was like more than double the length that I thought it would be. And that made me so hopeful for this game. I'm very excited. I mean, I wanted to make like a big advertisement for this and like build hype to stream it, but I just couldn't wait. I just, I wanted to go live. <laughs> I wanted to play it today. Post-apocalyptic Pinocchio. Oh my god, I love that alliteration too. You're right, I've got to use that figgy. <laughs> oh, oh, hey now. I didn't give you permission to hit me back. That was rude, sir. Ace, I, uh, there's a small part of my brain that's like, he got Street Fighter. <laughs> Another big thing for people who don't play a lot of Souls likes, another big uh, trope of this genre is they like to do these big, windy, open worlds that are relatively linear, but you'll find surprisingly often that they loop back into themselves and create shortcuts and passageways that you previously didn't find in other playthroughs and interesting things like that. From Software, when they made Dark Souls 1, I think that is what made that game so special. And what made everyone love it is that that the world felt so connected and interesting. Really good at disguising the fact it's kind of linear? Yeah, I think that's a good way to put it. Dear citizens of Croft, the recent public frenzy is believed to be just a momentary glitch. There is no cause for alarm. Do not panic. Whatever you may hear, the city no worries, is safe guys. to traverse. I think it's fine. We repeat, do not be alarmed, citizens of Croft. We are mm. effectively handling the situation. It's basically handled. The alchemists. Crot is safe. Yeah, Crot is safe. Yeah, puppet net. 
<laughs> yeah, it, it is essentially like AI, uh, an AI overthrow, but puppet skinned. <laughs> fury attacks, right. Cannot dodge or guard fury attacks, but you can counter with a perfect guard. You either have to get the fuck out of the way or parry it. <laughs> God, okay, okay, okay. You're better than this, Debbie. He, he's too slow. Oh, I was out of stamina. Oh my god, did you see that little slide in I did? That was, that was crisp. Victorian era Terminator. I, I think I would like that more. I think all of these analogies are just making me like this setting more. Cause like, it's weird on surface level to think about, okay, like puppet uprising. That's what I've been trying to think of, uprising. It's a little, it's a little strange. It's not common, but like, <laughs> you guys are absolutely right. Victorian era Terminator, uprising. Did I say uprising? Okay, okay, okay. Whoa, whoa. Okay, I generate these, uh, healing things a little slower than I thought I would. Uh. <laughs> woo! Woo! Oh, I rolled into him and, like, put him off guard. Okay. Neat, 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 neat. Oh, I like that I can do this. This reminds me of the good old days. You guys ever noticed that they started putting momentum-based movement in every game and then this suddenly stopped being possible? Wouldn't surprise me if he's gonna, if it's gonna be some item or charm that increases how much of the healing region per hit. That would be something I'd be interested in, actually. I think I would run that, because I'm pretty sure I would need that. Whoa! Oh, okay, I got it. And there's another one. Ugh. Not trying to infringe on your gamer card or anything, but you are still relearning the game. Oh yeah, for sure. It's it's nice when a game does it right. Oh, oh 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 oh! Oh my god! Oh my god! Thank you, thank you, developers. Oh, they put a stargazer right here. Oh, they put a stargazer. Oh, uh, that's so nice. It was such a long run back to this boss. I'm not good at this type of game, but I'll manage because I want to see the what the hell they do with the story as an adaptation. True. I am excited to see where it goes. Okay, these are the other starting weapons. I think he had a, a fourth weapon here in the demo, but he no longer does. I want to learn all the steampunk Pinocchio lore. I'm excited just for all the names that we come up with for this game. Steampunk Pinocchio. <laughs> hey, you could have just knocked. Study Pinocchio in Italian class because it's a cultural footnote, so I'm quite invested. Well, fuck yeah. I might have you fill in some spots for me. All right, baby. Yay! Yay! That's right. Fuck, I dodged too early, that's okay. Oh, that was a big hit. Square up! Got the parries? Got the parries? I'll catch up on chat in a second. Oh my god, we're bullying him, Chet! Oh no! It's just that easy, Chet. Sometimes it's just that easy. Sometimes you just gotta be a gamer. You just gotta step up. And you just gotta. You just gotta parry. It's just that simple. <laughs> that boss design reminds me of Near Automata very much. Very, very, very much. Yes.